<clears throat> the preparations of the heart belong to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Okay. And then Proverbs 16, that was Proverbs 16, verse 1. Proverbs 16, verse 3 says, Commit your works to the Lord, and your thoughts will be established. I right. just wanted us to focus on these two verses. The preparations of the heart belong to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Commit your works to the Lord, and your thoughts will be established. So we see two things here. Like, um, man's responsibility, and uh, we see God's um, anointing or God's response. Right? In response to man's responsibility, we see God's response. And uh, the first verse talks about how the preparations of the heart belong to man. So uh, whatever preparations are required for us to be you know, maybe spiritually prepared, uh, for us to hear from God, for us to minister in the right way, the, the preparation that is required, um, whatever needs to be done internally, you know, like we go before him uh, with purity of heart, we go before him and um, uh, with diligence and all that um, belongs to man. Uh, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. The Lord will respond with his wisdom. The Lord will respond with his power um, and so on. Uh, verse 3, commit your works to the Lord. So that's the responsibility of man or the human being to, to commit the works. Okay, Whatever works are there, whatever responsibilities are there, whatever tasks um, are there, to commit it to the Lord. And then the promise... And the Lord's response is that, and your thoughts will be established, made firm, made strong, made secure. So, um, so in in both these verses, we we see that, right? We see man's responsibility, God's response, and and it's so important um, to understand that that we have a role, we have a res we have a responsibility, and the Lord is faithful to come back to us with his response, to enable us, uh, to establish us uh, for the task that is ahead. The Lord is faithful to do that. Uh, but he's, uh, also, we must be willing to do our part in, in uh, preparing ourselves. We must be able to do our part in, uh, in committing or laying everything before the Lord, right? And that word, um, commit, again, um, uh, the Hebrew, which means uh, to roll away. You know that the picture that we have is that of a, of a camel that is fully laden, right? Fully loaded <coughs> with all kinds of weights. Maybe after a journey, I mean, it's it's just fully. You know, the, the camel can carry a lot of weight, right? So it's let's say it's uh, it's fully packed, loaded, and after a journey, it comes back. And the, and the master, the one who owns the camel, or the one who, uh, you know, rides the camel, uh, would give a command, okay, and uh, and the camel would actually kneel down and roll that burden off its back, you know, kind of roll it back. So that's the picture that we have of that Hebrew word galal, uh, uh, which means commit, right? So. Maybe, you know, there are things that are heavy on our hearts and we can commit it, them to the Lord, commit them to the Lord, uh, roll them off our back and onto the Lord. And what will happen is that our thoughts will be established. Now, uh, we need uh, established thoughts in order to have established action. So, so that is what the Lord has promised that if you would just roll or roll on or uh, roll away those tasks, um, maybe we can do it in prayer, you know, and, and that's the thing, or you can just um, pray and just tell the Lord, Lord, I have this, and these are things that are on my mind, these are things that are my responsibilities, and I we're not, you know, like uh, escaping from the responsibility, but we are. Going to the Lord and saying, Lord, uh, you know, these are things that I have in my hand right now. These are things that I need to do. And the Lord will establish, make firm our thoughts so that our actions are also firm.
right? Okay, let's let's pray. Okay, Father, we we thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord, for the uh, uh, for these words. We thank you that uh, Lord, that uh, your word says that uh, Lord, as long as we are <clears throat> faithful, Lord, in pursuing you, in, in taking care of Lord, what we need to do, Father God, uh, what is within our control, God, uh, Lord, we thank you that you always you're always faithful in your response. We thank you that uh, the preparations of the heart belong to man. Lord, as ministers of God, as servants of the Most High God, the preparations of the heart belong to man, that we will make sure that we don't carry unnecessary weights, that we will make sure that we don't carry unnecessary burdens, that we will make sure, O oh God, that um, our hearts are pure and, uh, Lord, before you, Master, that we don't have any bitterness or offense or any, any kind of fear, Lord, any remnants of uh, anxiety or oppression, Lord, we the preparation that we will come before you in faith, O oh God, that we will um, lay everything aside that needs to be put us put away, put aside, Lord, um, uh, and and then, Lord, we know that uh, we do that. The answer of the tongue comes from you, Father God. The the response at every situation, God, the, the wisdom for every problem to solve the problem, God. Um, that response of the tongue comes from you, Master. We thank you. And Lord, we thank you because your word also says that when we commit, when we roll away, um, God, uh, our, uh, commit our works to you, Father God, the things that we need to do, the things that we, our responsibilities, Lord, the tasks, oh God. And you will make firm our thoughts, Lord. Right down to the thought level, you will establish it so that our action is uh, strong and firm and our right before you, God. Yes, Master, we pray that we will experience this, Lord, in our own lives, even as we prepare our hearts, even as we commit our works to you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Just one second. Sorry. Oh. Right. Okay, so uh, just wanted to uh, as we you know, progress, I think we have progressed quite a bit with our research. Uh, and so I just wanted to um, hear from you all, you know, what is happening, what is the, uh, what is the status? Um, because um, I think we, are, we have um, a couple of weeks, right? uh, maybe 20 days or so to, to finish the report and then uh, start preparing for the presentations after that. So, um, so we'll take this time to uh, answer any questions. We'll take this time to, um, you know, to clarify any doubts that you might have about the uh, about the project. And uh, yeah, so it just takes this time. So each of you can take some time to uh, like share about what the status is. I mean, um, uh, you, like you don't have to. Uh, if there's work, a lot of work to be done, you know, there's a lot of work to be done. So you don't have to shy away from saying, okay, from being real. So um, so I just wanted to open up this time. Okay. Each of you can share uh, how the work is, how it's heading, what else needs to be done, uh, etc. Okay. Yeah. So who will go first? Um, anyone, I'm just opening it out to you. Let's go ahead. Prince, would you like to start? Yes, uh, I think uh, everything uh, we find. So I'm uh, doing uh, uh, collecting the data from the two persons, mm. those who are not believer. So mm. I collected that uh, data, okay. and now so I how, am going to start. Um, I see. So, sorry, Prince. Uh, so, how are you collecting the data, Prince? Are you, are you yeah, how are you collecting the information meeting. in person meeting? Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Mm. So now I'm I'm going to start at uh, two person those who are believer. So what about okay. their belief system in my own research? Mm. Uh, this everything is, this that's from fine, that, but um, yeah, go ahead. One thing is, uh, uh, there is uh, about. Uh, the paper, I think uh, there's a uh, 25 
to uh, 30 pages but uh, yeah my uh, on this search uh, that will be i think 12 or 13 pages only mm -hmm. so. okay the thing is uh, you know in that format with that line spacing etc it will be i'm sure it will come to at least 25 you know so um yeah okay, so i'll try to more explore the things that correct and then uh, you can also uh, present some information about uh, like the background of the people the background in the sense of that community itself um yeah, yeah that information the historical background uh, I, i'm sure mm -hmm. that will be uh, i mean that will be useful information as also uh, it will you know it will it will have some uh, mm -hmm. you know some volume to it so yeah. that is also there yeah so one th okay. uh, one more thing is uh, can i put the picture yeah sure yeah yeah so okay okay oh, oh, you want to know whether in the report you can put the picture of course you can put picture uh, in the report you can uh, if there are statistical tables you can put that graphs you can put um, so yeah you can use all that not a problem yes. at all right okay okay so what i would say is like you yeah make it as a word document and then convert it into a pdf so that there can be no changes to it uh, once you're you know fully finished and then you can upload the you know the the document right okay fine a any any uh, doubts prince anything else that you um, regarding the work not yet but uh, i'm looking for mm. if there is something difficult i contact you okay so one one idea is um, like you can even shoot a video of the people right um in the sense uh, you can take pictures if they are okay with it right if they are okay with it you can even take videos of it um uh, maybe a short clip when they share something yeah. so you can use that yeah. for the presentation your powerpoint presentation you can use this information as well so that's mm. just a thought just an idea as you're presenting you can say okay this is the community this is where they live this is where they you know worship and or, or if you're saying these are their beliefs um this is what they do these are the challenges you can actually show pictures and uh, you know if if it's pictures that you have taken of course you don't have to um, you know cite any um, uh, give any credits to it but then if it's a picture that's already been taken by someone then you'll have to give credit right saying okay uh, so and so has taken the picture right so um, you can you can use that so you can try that also and it will be useful information for you you know if you especially if you're collecting information you said you know uh, personal uh, what do you call um, interviews right so you're meeting them and then you're talking to them so you can even record it you can ask them the question record it and keep it for your uh, yeah you can edit it and use it thank you yeah okay so uh, dev any any updates there from your side um i can't hear you dev so um sorry i saw that your mic was unmuted but i couldn't hear you we couldn't hear you uh maybe if you if you you can type it out as well i can read it out um okay who else uh, while we're waiting for dev maybe kanan can share kanan how are things how what is the status uh you can hear me right yeah uh, yeah i got um the data i want and started uh, typing but uh, i'm also want uh, even more data to uh, yeah i want to mention even more data mm. so i'm so also, how yeah uh, i'm contacting the person who's there in the place so yeah through phone call through phone call okay 
so you are you're not able to travel there this is gudulur yeah, side right yeah i'm trying i don't know uh, hmm. uh, let's see if it's okay. possible uh, if hmm. i go there I, i can take photos and videos something like yeah that. and uh, i'm sure I, I, you know i'm i'm sure phone call is effective but uh, if you if you if you're saying right you need more information and uh, especially if it's going to be information that is not on the internet or books or anything and you know, if you if you need to meet with the people and collect it then maybe a face to face interview would help especially because of the nature of you know uh, uh, the kind of people that you are um, that you are researching right so that's why okay uh okay dev says i'm still on research phase got some new resources and schedule some interviews maybe after a week i'll start writing the actual research paper yeah absolutely fine that's good um okay so kiran you said i'm still waiting or still still writing okay so any uh, can you just give some updates what what is the status what you're doing yes sir i still writing mm. i called two three pastors from rajasthan mm. regarding rajput and mm. all this they said they will update some data and all then mm. after that i will try to call them and ask what uh, is that challenges they are facing like sharing the gospel between them so mm. so you were able to fix an appointment or you are yet to fix appointments i think fix because uh, i don't have the uh, data on the numbers that two three pastors said like they will send that uh, the, some some data but uh, still they not send today i will try afternoon and all to call them again some of mm. senior pastors from rajasthan sir i see okay um see if uh, like you can check on the internet is that how you got their numbers the websites so, from so i got the pastors number from covid relief project mm mm okay um right so the thing is uh, see you, what i would suggest is that you can go on the internet you can check out the church websites you know when you say churches in rajasthan or uh, you know maybe some particular denomination you know yes, you will sir, get yes yes sir i i uh, is, i got some uh, demon uh, like a uh, old uh all churches like a denomination and catholic catholic also so over there is working and um, a uh, small like a uh, surrounded one uh, three, uh 300 km uh uh like surrounded the ag also over there ag church yeah. okay okay <laughs> and these are um okay so yeah so you can yeah i think you just need to do that quickly Uh, get information because your research also involves giving recommendations on how to do it better so for that you need to understand what is currently happening right so and also have a like a like a thorough understanding of what is happening currently uh, only then will you be able to you know suggest that okay these are things that are not happening which are which can be effective and so uh, you know you can recommend saying okay these are some things that can be done because uh, unless you find out that you cannot suggest any recommendations right you need to know for sure this is what is happening uh, in the churches or in the you know predominantly in whatever area that you have chosen uh, the town or the city that you've chosen uh, if it's the entire state then again it's a it's a big task so um so just wanted to tell you that the, you know you need to do it you, you cannot delay otherwise it will be a very shallow research right 
um so because you, all your recommendations will be very very general and say they can do this they can but unless you um you know get a grip of okay this is the problem they have this is the cultural barriers they have or um you know things like that only then will you be able to suggest uh, recommendations so yeah i so you need to do it every day kiran so yeah okay fine so thomas uh, any update from your side please this must be no how let it challenges because the grown up ministries pastors they won't pass the information uh, over the phone because time schedule i guess and because of their uh, uh, sorry no uh, because of their uh, short time availability i contact some of the pastors they ask us to meet uh, in their church but currently my situation is quite difficult to go out mm. so that is why i have taken uh, their in all the youtube things and all and collected the uh, some of the details mm. of their church or the grown up things and all roughly written uh, mm. to make it as a file and uh, last i shared uh, mandya as uh, about the missionary uh, when i studied about his uh, i received the uh, about that missionary uh, from that file so i went through that um mm. I don't know how can I uh, use this uh, here because talking about revival the more the Holy Spirit, but uh, mm. there is the more of the social work very less of the you can see uh, healings are uh, unable to read those kind of things. They fed. I see. They did the social works and uh, because of the uh, because of love of God social work. so many people accepted christ uh, whether mm. how can i put it here or not any suggestion was to be in this mm. so um, so the thing is they they the the work was fruitful but this is the approach they took um and uh, and people came to know the lord yeah i think you can mention that as well definitely you can mention that uh because uh, for them to do this kind of work it was probably it was very radical it was not seen in others and uh, and then people came to know the lord just just make sure that the um uh, you know the them turning to the lord was something genuine and not because of the material benefits you know just make sure that you can yeah true uh, can, they saw the love yeah. of god um through that uh, act of kind where uh, in his time they went poverty and uh, food crisis where government can to provide the food for the people that time he with the help of government in his uh, property and also sold and, and help with the help of government distribute taking care of the orphans and uh, construct the hospitals like that work mm-hmm. so definitely the salvation is the work of the holy Spirit. but uh, i don't know how to conclude this or how i write and put it in the words uh, that's ask the submission first hmm so you can you could mention that this is what uh, you know this is uh, this is something that happened and if it's a widespread thing you could mention that also you know in all these districts this this happened that uh, you know since there was poverty and since there was a real need and the missionaries uh, saw the need and then you know they they showed the love of christ in action and which i mean you can you can just find out the process you know how how it was done uh, from these resources just to see okay um, uh, where the pe- people curious that they came and then they said that yes we want to know why you do this and or how did it happen you know so i think that would help as well so so you could just find out the entire process what they did how they did maybe there will be a pattern that you can pick up from all that they did you know they went to this village they went to this thing and this is what they did step you know first they did this second they did this um and so and then you you see that pattern and you can you can you know mention that as well yeah um any any uh, uh, this thing from update from pastor 
the, those two pastors uh, information that I had shared, no, like Pastor Harry and Pastor Yashwant. Any anything from their side? Any response? Uh, Pastor Pastor Yashwant's number. I have his son's number, and I tried to contact his number. Okay. Then I went is to went their church. Uh, actually, they are very busy. Uh, even weekdays, people used to come for counsel. continue prayer prayer groups going on prayer mm-hmm. and all uh, it's quite tough to uh, get the time over the phone so mm-hmm. uh, it is better to meet them directly but um, as uh, i have uh, pastor center on youtube so some of the information i collect okay okay so they started with all numbers they in their uh, deliverances is very powerful in the mm. or beginning mm. stage and the miracles and things and all they 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 started like this they, they just went to pray family next their neighbors some kind of demonic torture to the person like they they mm. pray for the person like that the church started the fellowship and then today the church is grown up in a very big way mm. yeah but uh... <laughs> maybe it'll it'll be helpful if you can just fix an appointment with him and uh, he might be able to share some information about uh, uh other things also you know <laughs> other things that were not covered in the interview um the youtube interview maybe uh, he'll be able to share um so uh, but i definitely yeah, you need to fix an appointment and go uh, if you can do that that'll be great Okay. Sure, pastor, I'll try to do. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Okay. Fine. So, um, yeah, thanks for sharing all the updates. Just wanted to encourage you to um, continue to do this work. You know, every day, uh, especially those of you who are in the information collecting stage, uh, those of you are in the uh, analysis stage. Um, you know, pl- please uh, speed up the work. and do it every day and uh, and then you know the rest of the time can be spent in putting the uh, information together um <coughs> presenting it in the best way possible um uh, and also preparing for the presentation right you'll have to do it in a concise manner 15 minutes so uh, you can the rest of the time can go into that okay okay so we'll stop here and uh, we will uh, we will not be meeting next class uh, which is 30th next wednesday we will not be meeting we will be meeting the first wednesday in april which is uh, 6th of april okay so we will not meet on the 30th of march we will meet on the 6th of april so uh, for the e learning students uh, there will not be any video upload on uh, on the 30th of april the 30th of march sorry but uh, you can ex- expect a video upload by the end of uh, 6th april uh, evening of 6th april india time okay fine so um, all the best right um, keep up the good work and we'll catch up uh, next class okay thank you bye bye thank you sir right see you